All right, let's go on to the next one. This one's the first one that's a little bit tricky and fun. Let's try to do that one. Make sure to read the make sure to read the introductory text and I'm going to highlight the most important part of it. This is the thing that is like constant across all accumulations. So this is like the key insight to allow you to like not go crazy when you try to figure these things out. Okay, let me unpack this one. So first thing is that Mike pointed out to me that this L, those two L's look remarkably like that one, which is true. So uh, the only thing I can plead is that I copied this out of the racket user guide. So then somebody made the remark tell J. So we could do that. I don't, I don't actually, why is it L? Uh, wait. That's an L. That's got to be the other L. Yeah. So why is it L? Like, why did they choose that symbol? Yeah. Because it's a it's a list. Yeah. So the the key insight here is that as the recursion unwinds, you're going to have two parameters to the the op, right? So this lambda becomes the op in accumulate. It's going to have two parameters. The second one, which is named L here, is the result of the prior, well, it, it's always the result of the prior accumulation. In this particular case, that's going to be a list. That's why they named it L. And V is just a value. So if we think about, if we go back, I'm going to turn the page, if we go back to this, like when we unpack the, the 
basic like accumulate with a plus. The first actual addition is the last item of the list gets bless you gets added to the base case. That's going to be the script for all accumulations, the, the full full write style ones. So if we go back to this, the first time this lambda gets to fire is it's going to combine the four with empty list. So it's that lambda expression, I'll write it out. Lambda of a value and a list is going to cons together adding one to the value with the list that was already produced. That's a lambda expression. Do I need a close paren? Yeah. That whole thing is the lambda. Sorry, this L is looking like a paren. Okay, so now that is going to get applied to the first time it fires. It's the recursion is going to be unwound to the point where it's like, okay, I've got a four. And then this was a recursive call that was the base case where the list was empty. And it spat back the initial value, which conveniently is empty list. So it's going to combine four with empty list. And then, so this one is a lot like the one that we just looked at of just handing in cons to do the combination. But here, it's consing together the result of incrementing the value to empty list. So that produces, uh, that the four gets incremented and then it gets cons to the empty list. So it produces a list of the number five. And then, then that becomes the, um, the prior accumulation for the next thing. So it increments three and causes it to that. So then you get, the next step is you get the list four, five. That space in there. Um, and so on, so that when you're, you're all done, you've incremented each item and from, from right to left cons them together. That's what you get. Yeah. 